Hundreds of millions of people around the world use Twitter every day. But for the vast majority of the population, it's still a big mystery and they don't use Twitter at all. So in this video, I am going to solve that mystery and explain everything about Twitter, starting with how to tweet, and that's coming up right now. So here we are on my Twitter profile, Mark Warnkin. If you aren't yet following me on Twitter, by all means, hit that follow button um, or send me a direct message. Let me know where you're tuning in from around the world and say hello. And as always, if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and tick the bell icon to stay up to date with all of my weekly videos. So as popular as Twitter is with hundreds of millions of people around the world using it on a daily basis, the vast majority of the population don't use Twitter and that's what this video is all about. It's an introductory video to Twitter explaining a little bit about Twitter and explaining actually how to post. That's right, how to actually post a tweet or how to tweet on the Twitter platform. So, so straight into it, we are on this particular video, how to post on Twitter. So I'm gonna give everyone three examples on how to do that. Firstly, I'm gonna show you how to post from your iPad or your tablet version, which we are on right now. Secondly, I'm also gonna show you how to post from your mobile phone. And the last one, I'm also gonna show you how to post from the desktop computer. All of them get us to the same result, meaning you've, you've, you've posted on Twitter, you've tweeted out there to the universe and, and whatever comes of that, but there are some slight variations on all of them. So I will cover all of those three steps. So viewing my Twitter profile at the moment, down the bottom left-hand corner, you can see the blue dot with the plus and the Twitter icon. That would be how you would start um, tweeting. If I was to go to my home page, again, it is down the bottom left-hand corner. So it is really easy to start posting on Twitter because that's all we do is we tap that blue icon and up comes what's happening in your life. Now, firstly, I am going to select a photo. This particular one is my son in soccer action, and I would then um, share some information on this. Now, remembering we only get 280 character spaces. That includes everything. The image that I've selected there takes up 22 character spaces. Um, and your hashtags and things like that take up hash, um, character spaces as well. Saturday, soccer, action from my son. We'll keep it simple. Um, let's add some hashtags as well. Um, hashtags we could be adding, um, let's put Saturday soccer, Saturday soccer, hashtags. There are no spaces in between. So first one is Saturday soccer. What other hashtags can we um, add? So I've added two more hashtags, soccer time and football time. So there we go, nice and short, sharp and simple. How to post on Twitter, it is that easy. And let's press top right, the blue tweet button, and it is loading. Your tweet was sent, and away we go. That's how simple it is to post on Twitter from your iPad. Let me show you how to do the same thing from your mobile phone and your desktop computer. So the second example I want to show everyone is how to tweet from the desktop computer. Now, not many people will most likely do it from the desktop. I think 88% of all um, tweets and Twitter usage is on a mobile, but I will show everyone just for the sake of it. So here we are on my profile again. So here is the tweet that I posted just before of my son. That was the one that came from my desk, um, sorry, that came from my iPad or the tablet. So. From the desktop version, um, if I click on tweet down the bottom left, the pop-up box appears. Or if I'm on the home page, the pop-up is already up the top there. So it's the same result. So let's keep things uniform. I'm gonna click on the tweet button and up will pop the pop-up box, which gives us some options that we can play with. The first one here on the left, if I click that, it's gonna take me to my desktop computer and that's where I would upload an image. Um, the second one along is if I wanted to upload a GIF, straight forward there, we can select which one we like. The third one along is how to create a poll on Twitter. Now, I already have a separate video on that and I will put the um, instructions to that one or the link to that one in the comments below and everyone can have a look at that. Um, we want to discard it. The fourth one along was we can add some emojis, all pretty straightforward. The pop-up box will appear here for some adding some emojis 
And the last one along is how to schedule. So there we go. So there are a few different options that we can utilize here on the desktop computer. But I'm going to select a photo from my computer and we're going to take it um, and do it that way. Now the photo I've selected is a recent video that I've uploaded to my YouTube channel called Five Minutes a Day on LinkedIn, tip number one. So I'm going to help promote that video here on Twitter as well. So let's type in some words, let's type in some hashtags and see what we can come up with. So the words I'm typing are, check out my latest video upload to my YouTube channel giving quick and easy LinkedIn tips to do in only five minutes a day. So let's add some hashtags let's add a LinkedIn uh, let's add a LinkedIn for business and the last one LinkedIn five minutes a day there we go so um, that's how simple it is Check out my latest video upload to my YouTube channel giving quick and easy tips to do in only five minutes. And hashtags, always best practice. If I wanted to tag some people in, I can do that. Um, but that's all pretty much straight, ready to go. Um, anything else we want to do? So there's nothing else we want to do. So let's click the blue tweet button and away we go. And there it is. That's how quick and easy and simple it is to post to Twitter or to tweet from your desktop computer. So the third example I'm going to explain and show everyone on how to tweet is from my mobile phone. So currently on my mobile phone at the moment, currently on the home screen, bottom right hand corner, the blue plus um, button, the Twitter symbol, that's how we would get going there. Or if I was viewing my own profile, it's in exactly the same position. And once again, back to my own profile, and th there is the two other examples that I have done and showed everyone how to do in this video. The first one of my son playing soccer, that was done from my iPad. The second one, five minutes a day LinkedIn, was done from my desktop. And now we are showing everyone how to do it via mobile phone. So bottom right-hand corner, Let's tap the blue plus Twitter icon and away we go. So it's then going to ask me to select an image from my phone. Now I have a video here that I'm going to select. Um, this was one of my um, beachside suburb where I live here in Sydney, Cronulla Beach. It was nice and peaceful and calm. So let's click that. Um, and let's add some texts and some uh, story about this, this particular video. So a peaceful and calm evening here at Cronulla Beach. Let's add some hashtags. What will we do? Um, let's just put Cronulla. It's the suburb that I live here in Sydney. Uh, let's also put uh, Cronulla Beach. There we go. And maybe one more, peaceful and calm. No remembering, no spaces. And remembering, we can also do capital letters um, to help the hashtags pop. So again, pretty straightforward. A peaceful and calm evening here at Cronulla Beach, and I've done some hashtags. Always remembering to hashtag, that is best practice. Simple, nine second video. Let's press tweet and watch that upload. Tweet is successful, there we go. I have now showed everyone how to post to Twitter or how to tweet from your mobile phone, from your desktop computer, and from your iPad. So, so once we have tweeted or posted a tweet on Twitter, we now have a few other things that we can do as well. So scrolling through my newsfeed, this is where I see all the tweets appearing on my timeline, generally from the accounts that I'm following. So here's one from uh, the Daily Telegraph, which is one of our um, daily newspapers here in Sydney. They're obviously um, giving a bit of a season review on one of the rugby league teams here in Sydney, the Bulldogs. So I get to now interact with this um, post in a few different ways. And one of those ways is retweeting. Um, now think of retweeting, it's a bit like forwarding on an email or, or forwarding on a text. So there's a few different icons down the bottom. The first one over here on the left is I can add my comments to that. So I can add my comment, be part of the conversation and away we go. Um, the second one we can do, and I'll show you how to do that, is retweet. So here we go. So basically what that means is I'm send, I, I, I forwarded that message onto my um, timeline. Um, think of it as I say, as simple as a um, 
as forwarding mm. on an email, that type of thing. I can like the post as well. And equally, this one over here is um, I can share the message. So I can send it via direct message. Um, I can copy the link and a few other options as well. So there's just a few other things that we can do um, to engage with other people's posts or other people's tweets on Twitter. We can share other people's information, um, tips and things you like as well, and that will also appear on your timeline. And here is that retweet appearing on my timeline. It says up the top here, you retweeted, as in I retweeted that information. So, yeah, I'm finding Twitter um, an amazing platform and I'm engaging in it with um, on more and more on a daily basis, keeping up to date with breaking news, learning new content, learning new information, that type of thing. Um, and I do have lots of other videos here on my YouTube channel, how to create polls on Twitter, um, you know, how to set up your account on Twitter, um, various other things, and I will put the links to them in the description below. One. So there we go. Hopefully you found this video informative, helpful and entertaining. Um, part of my Twitter series that I've been uploading to my YouTube channel as well. Hopefully it's demystified the world of Twitter for you a little bit and you'll now be able to open yourself an account and start exploring the amazing platform that Twitter is. I've found myself enjoying it more and more on a daily basis, keeping up to date with news and information, and obviously as a great tool to help promote myself, my business and brand. So on my Twitter profile for the last one time, um, if you haven't yet followed me on Twitter, by all means, click that follow button, send me a direct message as well. Let me know where you're tuning in from around the world. Equally, if you're watching it um, on my LinkedIn page, don't forget to send me that connection on LinkedIn. It's the same name across all of them, Mark Warnkin or Mark Warnkin Social Media Selling 123. Join my LinkedIn network, send me a message. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know where you're tuning in from around the world. If you're watching it on Facebook, give me a thumbs up there, give me a like. And of course, like my Facebook page to stay up to date with all of my content. And lastly, if you're watching it on my YouTube channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and tick the little bell icon to stay up to date with all of my weekly videos. And I did promise you just a few minutes ago that I would show you some of the other Twitter videos that you can watch and maybe learn. Um, I do have quite a few in the series now. How to use Twitter, a beginner's guide 2020. What is a Twitter handle? Um, this video was all about you know how to be posting on Twitter, specifically how to be posting. Um, but you know there are many other aspects to Twitter that some of these videos might prove helpful to you as well. What is Twitter? There we go. What is Twitter and how does it work? We go into some depth detail there. How to create a poll on Twitter. Now we did touch on that briefly in this video, how to create a poll. So that is a great resource and a great tool for us all to be using for ourselves. And also how to use hashtags on Twitter. Um, so there we go. There's some um, YouTube stuff that might be, um, be you, you might be um, able to, you know, dive into and, and um, you know, enjoy along the way as well. Mark Warnkin, Social Media Selling 123, signing off. And I look forward to seeing you again real soon in another one of my videos. Cheers.